Good morning, everybody. Mario here. So I hear that we're going to win California 25 back. Everyone's excited about it. I'm really not surprised because we're a historically red district. I mean, you did produce Mario Presents. Palmdale, Lancaster, Santa Clarita, and Acton, as well as Simi Valley are part of this California 25. It actually is two counties. It's partly Ventura County, partly Los Angeles County, but we are the reddest areas of those counties. So I was really more surprised when Katie Hill got the seat. Not so much that Mike Garcia is winning it back. Katie Hill did a lot of ballot harvesting. She went out to those old folks' homes. She went out to the high schools. She did her legwork and you know what? She left our district in a disgrace because she's over here boinking her staff and that's inappropriate. What I really want to talk to you guys about today is the idea that these protests are gaining steam and we need to pick it up. We need to be, become bigger. I'm getting messages, especially with what happened here in Los Angeles County. Los Angeles County recently announced that they are going to keep the stay at home order till July. And California Patriots are losing their minds. They're mad. I'm getting phone calls from people on the left. I'm getting phone calls from people on the right. And I'm seeing the tide start to change. I'm seeing people who were once upon a time, no, no, stay inside, shelter in place. They're the ones going out with their friends now, quietly on the DL, you know, and the reason I know that is because it comes up on the scanner pages, you know, Corona Karens videotaping people. I can't believe these people are out here party, having a good time. And then I hear my friend, ah, ha, 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 ha. that's so funny. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I see it. So if you have time to go out there and hang out with your friends and drink on the DL, then you have time to get out there on the corner and protest with us. If you can't go to church, and this is what I really want to tap into. I want to tap into some of these churches. You cannot go to your house of worship. That is against the law right now. You can't even have a drive-up Sunday service because they will fine you, they will cite you, they will arrest you. It's awful. But you can stand on the corner. And this is what I want everyone to be telling every single person of their congregation. You can't go to church, but you can stand on the corner and shout for your freedom. That is perfectly acceptable. Why not go out there Pray for a few minutes before you go out there and shout for your freedom. If you want the right to pray, then put that on a sign and stand out there and say that. I pray every single week on Sunday with one of my patriots that I go out there every single week. We stand there. And even if it's just the two of us, we stand there and we pray quietly. We enjoy our moment before we go out there and use our voices for the good of all mankind. And this is what I really want to do. I really want to start tapping into these churches. I'm getting messages from people all across my own little Antelope Valley community. Hey, when is the next protest? Where can we do this? Where can we do this? I want to do this. I'm finding out that King Rex over in Lancaster, he's getting ready to open up his attorney offices, his law offices, 100%. Gee, apparently he's essential, but you know, that barber isn't essential. That groomer isn't essential. Your dog's nails are getting longer, and the longer your dog's nails get, the more likelihood they're, you're going to cause deformities on their feet, and they're going to be in unbearably uncomfortable pain. But you know, Keep, go ahead and open up those law officers, Rex. I, I, you know, that's, that's an essential business. People need to be suing their people, right? Mm -hmm. this, is, this is what I really want to get to, you guys, the heart of it. Not only do we need to pick up these protests, we need to become more visible. Ideally, if it were up to me, I would have so many protesters under my wing that I would say, this group goes here, this group goes here, and this group goes here, and we are all going to protest together at the same time at these different locations across my city because what's going to happen is these people are going to get in their car, they're going to do their errands, they're going to think, oh, I don't have to shelter in place as long as I wear my mask, oh, I'm going to go, you know, go to Walmart, run my errands, da, 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 da. and they think the shelter in place is a must, but what happens when they're everywhere they go, every main center that they go to has a group of protesters. That means everywhere you look, people are protesting. That psychologically has a bigger impact than a bunch of people in a small location. You take that bunch of people and you spread them out over a city, the entire city now looks like it's protesting. And that's the goal. That is going to be my ultimate goal. That's what I want to start us doing. If you guys don't have a group, get together with a couple of friends. It only takes a few of you. It takes five or six of you on a corner. If there's 10 of you on a corner, split up and take two corners. Now there's five on each side. The more spread out we look, the bigger and the more impact we're going to have. I really, really encourage us to start developing and growing these protests into a much larger visible thing as opposed to a smaller centralized thing where now the entire city looks like it's in uproar. 
I love you guys. This is just an idea, but I will talk to you guys later. Bye.